Alright, in this video tutorial we're going to cover how to add a new domain name into your pre-existing DNN installation. As you can see here that we're already on our DNN website, hostedappliance.net, and we want to add in a completely new domain name to this. So we're just going to, you have to make sure that you're logged in as the host user, which we're already logged in, and you should have your menu visible across the top when you're logged in as the host user. You just need to mouse over the admin option and go to site settings. Now, the uh, site aliases are unique to each of your portals or sites within your DNN installation. So if you have multiple domain names that you'll be adding to different portals or sites that you have built inside of DNN, you will need to browse to each portal and then go into the site settings for that portal and adjust your aliases per portal. Once you're in the site settings area, you may start on the basic settings tab. If so, just flip over to the advanced settings tab. Then you're going to scroll down the advanced settings to find your site aliases category. Now, this category may be condensed, which case you can just left click anywhere on the site aliases bar and that will expand your settings. Here you can see we have our site alias table where you can see our default URL has already been here from when we set up the site previously. We have both variations, the www.hostedappliance.net and hostedappliance.net. You can see that the primary checkbox is set for www.hostedappliance.net because this is our primary URL that we want traffic to be directed through and indexed. So we're gonna add a new domain name into this installation here. We're gonna click add new alias and in just a second here it's going to pop up a box here we go and here's where you can type in your new domain name and there is an option if you want to make it the primary domain name uh, we do not want to make it primary we're just adding a new one that's going to work with this installation and that is www.hostedappliance.com so we just type it in here and then there's a little save uh, disk icon right here next to it you just click that and that will save your alias into the table and as soon as that's done, we're going to repeat the exact same process to put in the non-WWW version. All right, you can see that is completed, and it has added it to the alias table here. So again, just click Add New Alias. And in the box, we're going to put in hostedappliance.com without the WWW extension so that we have both variations of both of our domain names in the table, and click Save. That will update in just a moment, and we'll have all four of our domain names listed in the site alias table. This tells .NET Nuke that all four of these domain names are associated with this site within DNN, so it'll know how to handle them and direct them within this site. The final option that you may want to adjust here is the site alias mapping mode. The options you have here are canonical, redirect, and none. What this means is how search engines and other connections to your website are going to view the priority of the URL that people are currently browsing to. You'll notice that we have the hostedappliance.net checked as the primary. So if you set your mapping mode to redirect, what this means is that any of these URLs can be typed into the web browser and it will load this website. However, DNN is set into redirect mode, it will automatically redirect people to the URL that is set as the primary. So in this case, somebody could type in www.hostedappliance.com and it would pull up this website and it would automatically redirect their URL to www.hostedappliance.net because it is our primary and we have set to redirect mode. If you would like them to actually be able to browse under any of these domain names without being forcibly redirected to the primary, then you would use the canonical setting. Canonical will tell the web browser that each of these domain names is equal to one another and that one should not be carried a higher priority over the other and it will not redirect. So if you typed in www.hostedappliance.com it would actually display the website as www.hostedappliance.com or if they typed www.hostedappliance.net it would display as www.hostedappliance.net. We want the redirect because we want all of our traffic to be redirected to this URL which is what we use for our search engine indexing and this is really all you need to do. At this point, DNN will now recognize both the hostedappliance.com and the hostedappliance.net aliases, and it will redirect all traffic to this particular URL. That's all you have to do. You can scroll down to the bottom and hit update, and that's all there is to it. DNN will now recognize all of these domain names, and we can test it out real quick. We'll open up a new tab in our browser here, and we will put in www.hostedappliance.com. And as you can see, it has pulled up our website just fine, and you'll notice here that it has redirected us to the www.hostedappliance.net as per our site alias settings here. So that's all there is to it. That's how you add an additional domain name into your installation. 
We appreciate you guys checking out the video. We hope to see you for the next one.